Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today, for the first time ever, we are going to the Furla Luxury Boutique to check out all of the handbags they have to offer. Ooh, just what I've been waiting for. <laughs> but before we hop into today's first time shop with me at Furla, if you guys love handbags, Furla, luxury, hauls, shop with me, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button, as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky <coughs> YouTube L Go Rhythm. <laughs> Welcome to Furla, the Furla Retail Boutique. Yes, they have an outlet. <laughs> but first up in Furla, we got the Metropolis. The Metropolis, I think this is like the mini Metropolis in like a beautiful mock croc leather. And I love the gold finish. The gold finish is very beautiful. A nice frosted gold. And on the inside, as you can tell with the texture, it is genuine suede. We love to see it. Very nice. $448 for the Metropolis. It even has a detachable strap. A cute little evening bag, a little clutch. And then they also have the black version. The just plain old black. Black with gold hardware. I did really like the feel of the leather. It didn't feel too cheap or anything like that. Like, it felt like good price per value. Like, it definitely was middle tier luxury. Um, I like that most of their bags used suede. They used suede for the inside on all, most of their bags. And I really liked that. But here we got the Furla Diamante, the Di Diamante, Diamante. I like this. I actually like this bag. It's a really cute vintage-esque looking uh, shoulder bag. $498 Canadian. So for that type of bag, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Minimal hardware, beautiful looking leather. Nice and soft, nothing too crazy, but it's still nice. And I like that. Looks very elegant with my outfit. Very, very elegant, actually. I love the silhouette. This might, that might be my, like, favorite Furla bag in today's video. But next up, we got the Furla Linea Futura, as well as the Furla Board Games card case. $158 for the card case. Uh, pretty expensive for a card case. But, you know, that's not too bad considering. And then the price for the triangle bag is $598. So the Futura is a little expensive. But I did like it. And what you'll notice quickly is that, like, none of these bags really have much stitching error to them. They all seem to have very nice leather, very nice design and structure, and stitching seems to be on point. I love how this kind of reminds me of, like, a McHappy Meal almost, like the box, like the red box of the McHappy Meal, or it kind of gives me, like, doghouse vibes. Like, when you opened it up, it kind of gave me, like, doghouse, or, like, a dog, like, a, a bag you'd carry around a dog. I don't know. It just, kind of, my brain went to that for some reason, and it's cute. I like it. They also had some sales going on, 40% off of these pieces here, the Furla 1927s, but we're going to look at the Furla 1927 over here in this beautiful, beautiful orange. 
I love this color. It's kind of like Hermes orange almost. I really like it. The bag is pretty as well. $668. So it's quite expensive. But it looks stunning. Now my only gripe on it is the hardware. The hardware was decent. But I don't like when hardware looks rigid like that. I just don't. I feel like it takes away from like quality aspect. Like the leather is so good on these. But the the hardware felt a little cheap. Not like horribly cheap or anything. Like it still felt nice and good. I'm sure. Like I don't own any of these to know for sure how well the hardware holds up. But like I feel like they would hold up decently. It's just, I don't like how the back had, like, ridging and all that. It just kind of... If you know cheap handbags, you know that they generally have, like, ridging like that. So it just kind of gives me, like, kind of like a mental thing, I guess. But there, it's... I love the color. That color looked sick. And then here we got the Furla Net. The Furla Net. I don't really... This is a, it's a nice bag. Don't get me wrong. I just don't like this style that much. Looks like it's nice and versatile and all that. I like how on the front it has like a nice bag, like a bag charm piece, like a bag charm clip. I love that. I absolutely love that because sometimes girl trying to hook on a bag strap or something is just a pain in the ass. $598 Canadian. A little expensive, I would say, especially because I don't, uh, I don't know. The leather felt nice, I guess. It just doesn't... I don't know. I guess I just don't like the style. But the bag's nice. I'm, it's nice quality. I can't knock it. <laughs> and again, with that hardware. That hardware. I don't... I don't know. I just don't like when brands do that. It just kind of gives me, like, cheap vibes. I don't know why. Am I the only one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you do own a Furla bag, what are your thoughts on their hardware? Do Does the hardware hold up? Is it good quality? And then here we got the Furla Gilda. I like the Furla Gilda. I like the, like, interesting shape and style to it. It has, like, this zipper to, like, expand the bag. And I like that. It also has, like, a color blocking. So, like, even if you wanted to, like, switch it up, you could totally zip it down and have, like, a pop of white. That's kind of cool. I like that. We like to see, like, a versatile handbag. And I really, again, with the orange color, just a stunning shade of orange. That front, that little clip, though, was a little annoying. <laughs> I just really like the shape. The shape, it kind of... You're going to notice that a lot, a lot of these handbags shown are kind of like high-end designer dupes. Y'all can be the judge of which ones are which, but like I could literally name 10 brands off the top of my head. I, I wouldn't say that's good, but it's good if you would like something that looks similar to like a bag that's like $5,000, $6,000. And here we got the Furla 1927 in the size large, I believe. I don't like this one that much, but it's just, it's kind of a basic style. Just your kind of basic carry-all, satchel, top handle. The hardware lock is nice and thick, though, so that, that was good. I know that was good. It's just like the metal used, I'm not sure. $748 in the color Nero. For the size, okay, that's not bad. But construction-wise, I'm like, eh, I want a little bit more. I want a little bit more in the construction department. And here we got this beautiful piece. I really like this, actually. This thing is pretty. It is called the Furla Opportunity. Girl, opportunity to, like, drain my wallet. Sickening sickening piece again another high-end designer dupe but it's really beautiful i really like it i like the leopard on it 558 dollars so it's not horrible that's not a horrible price for considering what we see but like then again 
the textile jacquarding on it, I wouldn't say beat the leather. I wouldn't say it beat the leather. The leather was still nicer, but this was just a really beautiful design. And for, like, the size of the bag and such, you really can't go wrong. And they also had a Furla X, like, Hello Kitty collection. That was a lot of fun. That was really cute. I don't really like the leather used because it's a specific style of leather or like a specific, uh, a specific leather I don't like. It's like a cross grain or like a pebbled leather that's like, um, it kind of reminds me of like Safiano almost or like cross grain. $188 for the little zip card case. Okay. Okay. Not bad, I guess. It's a collaboration, and it's more than just your average card case. It has the zip. And here we also got, like, this little 1927 mini little crossbody Hello Kitty collection. It has, like, a maple leaf on it. $348. Okay, a little... A little expensive for the size, but again, it is a collaboration piece. So generally collaboration pieces are a little, just a tiny bit more. I don't know how Furla does their things or how they price their goodies, but I know other brands are extortionate that way. Just pop open this beautiful Furla bag. And as you can see, it has like a beautiful suede lining, cute little mushrooms with the Hello Kitty design. Totally not my cup of tea, but I know a lot of people like Hello Kitty. And they also had, like, these cute little Hello Kitty bag charms. I like the clip on them. A little expensive, but they were still cute. And then here we have 30% off. 30% off the Furla My Joy. This, I do like this one as well, because I like the turn lock, because it reminds me of another brand. <laughs> $598. I wouldn't mind adding this to my collection. It's a pretty piece, and I really like the Furla Brass hardware. The Furla Brass hardware looks really nice. It has, like, a beautiful frosting to it, but, like, it doesn't look frosted at the same time, if that makes sense. Mo mostly, like, brass-coated gold hardware or whatever is, like, frosty kind of but like they it was like a light coated frost almost if you will very stunning nonetheless and then here we go we with the final handbag in today's list it's the furla serena the furla serena looks like the jackie <laughs> a nice cheap alternative to that piece though very gorgeous and i liked the clip the clip clipped on really easy very beautiful pieces in a room. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred, hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred people, hundred, hundred, hundred. 9,000 or 9, 999. There can be a hundred. Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's first time Furla Retail Boutique Shop With Me experience. Lots of pretty pieces. Not bad price points. Probably in line with, you know, every other contemporary brand. But they, they bring their own. As in, they kind of... I feel like their shtick is they, they kind of like take inspiration from like every other handbag brand and then they make like affordable like uh, mid-tier luxury dupes kind of. I don't know. And without further ado, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit the subscribe button. If you are new, hit that like button. Share with your friends and family. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's outfit of the day or shop with me to furla boutique as well you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation and you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my instagram facebook and discord notification squad i love you all to the absolute moon and back and i'll see you all in my next video bye <laughs> Uh, I don't know.
I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. No, no, show's over. <laughs> show's over.